is a game that has become one of the biggest in the high school football schedule each and every year. Muskegon, Norton Shores squaring off tonight in our 13 on your sidelines game of the week. 13 on your side sports director Jamal Spencer is live now in Norton Shores with a breakdown of the matchup and Jamal we circle this one each and every year. Been waiting on this one, not just all year, obviously all off season and since the end of last year's game, Nick, it's a game that everyone's been looking forward to because rarely do communities produce two schools with football programs of this caliber and certainly Muskegon's coming into this one at 8 0. Mona Shores at 7 and 1. Norton Shores, obviously the host of this week's game of the week. We'll start our breakdown talking about the Sailors. Now they're a team that lost a tough game to Rockford about a month ago. And since then, they've won three straight games. Their offense has found a rhythm as quarterback Caden Brosma gets more and more comfortable. He missed all of fall camp and the first three games of the year with an injury, but now he's back and slinging the ball just fine. Now the Sailors haven't beat the Big Red since 2015. And Mona Shores head coach Matt Koziak says he wants his team to pay attention to the little things that can turn defeat into victory. Last year, I think we were down six going into the fourth, and we just, uh, you know, they didn't let us back into the game. Um, uh, two years ago at here, I think we lost 11, and it was one crucial. We needed a play, and we didn't get it, and they got it. And so we can put that into our kids, and as we watch film, say, you know, here are the moments that when, when there's opportunities to make plays and get a chance to get up on them, uh, we need to make them. Now, last year, Big Red's quarterback, Cameron Martinez, ran for 352 yards and six touchdowns and a 20-point win over the Sailors. Matt Koziak says the key to this game is slowing him down, and we'll see, obviously, if the Sailors can do that tonight.